Hi, this is Jonathan Seiferth, your city manager and TikTok star, thanks to Cassie and Deborah and Leanne's help as well, if you haven't seen that. Apparently, it's making the rounds on social media because people have, uh, have told me about it. Um, but who knows what the boss is doing is what the video is or something. Anyhow, here to talk to you about what's going on this month in September. We have a lot of fall events that are coming up that uh, we're really looking forward to this year. Uh, we're having our second year of the hay bale competition that will be between divisions and businesses on western avenue those will be going out um, later in september with the competition and voting going on in october we have a number of other events going on throughout this fall including touch the trucks and then everything will be culminating with the holidays in the city the weekend of thanksgiving we're really excited about holidays in the city this year the dda staff and the communication staff have made some changes and we're going to be sending information out to residents across the city to let them know what's going on in holidays in the city, not just downtown, but throughout the city. So keep an eye out for that information. We also have obviously trick-or-treating coming up at the end of October. We'll talk about more of that next month, as well as elections that first week in November. We'll also talk about that in October as well. This month at the work session, we spent some time talking about the possibility of different port development opportunities along Muskegon Lake, and really not just focusing on port development, but looking at public access on Muskegon Lake from the AWRI Institute East all the way to the former Cobb plant site. This map here is an example of what the Verplank property could look like if it were to be integrated into Richards Park on the east side of town. I'm really excited about this possibility because it could allow for truly meaningful public access on the east side of the city, which we don't currently have an extensive amount of. And the plan itself also talks about how Mark Dock proper can be redeveloped to allow public access all along the edges of Muskegon Lake, allowing our residents to walk from the bike trail, essentially where the LST is now, around the whole Mark Dock property, the Third Street property, and out the Terrace Point Third Street Pier. This is a really exciting conversation. We're really looking forward to engaging the public on this conversation as we move forward, specifically about the types of public uses they would like to see in our community. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you later.